morning. I'd like to welcome you to the new Sheriff's Office District 4 station here in Lexington Park. I just point out that other than the detention center, this is the first purpose built facility designed especially for our cops unit here in Lexington Park, community policing team, and our patrol deputies that work Lexington Park area. This building, of course, was made possible from our taxpayers, the resources provided by our taxpayers, the commissioners in St. Mary's County, but most especially a very vocal and supportive Lexington Park community. For that, we thank you. I'd like to welcome and acknowledge Jada Lynn from our Southern Maryland Interpreting Service. Thank you, Jada Lynn, for being here. I'm proud to announce this morning our Equity Task Force. The task force is comprised of three agencies primarily, the public schools, public health, and the sheriff's office, all dedicated to the public good. We find ourselves together quite often as our efforts intersect in several initiatives and challenges in our community. Equity simply is the principles of fairness. Inequities occur when bias or unfair policies, programs, practices, or situations contribute to the lack of equity. Public safety is best applied when applied fairly. The Sheriff's Office policy is to review every year our policy training and practices to ensure we operate within the law, uh, the international best practice standards of CALEA, complemented by realistic, relevant, reoccurring training that includes scenario-based training. And now we'll look at all we say and do through a different lens with our partners. Eliminating barriers, maintaining trust and legitimacy, ensuring access and opportunity. We will call on many other county departments and community groups for inp input because so much affects the coordination of community equity. At the Wednesday, June 3rd, March for Equality, I said, as a career police officer, I'm sickened by the actions of a few that reflect on many. A disregard of our profession's sacred oath to serve and protect with equality, justice, and respect. These are the bedrock principles behind the concepts of procedural justice and police legitimacy. This task force will provide a platform for us to work together toward the systematic fair treatment of all people of all races, resulting in equitable opportunities and outcomes for all. Neighborhood safety is about more than the absence of crime. It's about the opportunity for residents to call a neighborhood home, public spaces that are vibrant, well cared for and active, and a shared trust between the government and its constituents that allow partnerships at all levels. Now it's my pleasure to introduce St. Mary's County Health Officer, Dr. Mina Brewster. Good morning. Thank you to all of you who are listening today, and thank you to the Southern Maryland Interpreting Service for translating today. I also want to thank our partners, our public schools, and our sheriff's office for collaborating with our health department on this work. This work on equity is deeply meaningful to our community. Last week, my eight-year-old daughter, Anisha, said something that really struck me, and I've been thinking about it ever since. We were having a conversation about life and death, death, and deep into that conversation, she pauses and she says, when you are born, you are hope. When you die, you are loved. When you're born, you are hope. When you die, you're loved. It's amazing what truth an eight-year-old child can speak. Every person is hope when they're born. Not just hope for their families, but hope for their community. All people deserve the conditions that allow them to reach their full and unique potential. This is what, health, what equity and health equity and educational equity and equity in public safety is about. Equity is when communities put into place 
the systems and the policies that allow individuals to reach their own unique potential. At the St. Mary's County Health Department, we are focused on health equity, the principle that all people must attain and have the ability to attain their optimal, unique health. Every day, our public health professionals work to advance health equity. We see the disparities, we figure out the reasons for those disparities, and we work to fix them. There are disparities even in the current COVID-19 pandemic. African-American residents are impacted disproportionately by COVID-19. Right now, in our local pandemic response, we are working to better understand the reasons for this disparity and mobilizing efforts to respond to them. At our agency, we've been working on health equity for some time. It's been a priority in our agency strategic plan. We've built a community workforce, and it's led us to a dedicated health equity coordinator for our agency. But I know we need to do more. To achieve real health equity, we need to make meaningful impact on the social determinants of health in our community. The social determinants of health include education, public safety, housing, community zoning, racial justice, and employment. That's why we're so eager to be a part of this cross-sector partnership being launched today. Moving forward, our health department team is committed to working with our community partners in addressing the factors that affect health equity so deeply, to collecting and sharing data so that we have a better understanding of disparities locally, to ensuring that our workforce reflects the diversity of the community we serve, to identifying and eliminating bias within our own team and within the healthcare sector. And we're committed to recognizing structural racism for what it is. Because if we're not honest with ourselves, we create room for bias. If we are afraid to change, that bias becomes inaction. And as a community, our collective inaction will lead to inequity and injustice. This community, our community, is a place, though, of action. I know that it's a place where we will take meaningful steps to address equity and racial justice. It's a place where our hearts embolden our minds, and we have power together as a community, power to advance truth, to eradicate inequities, and the power to honor the hope that all people are when they're born. There's no better way to end than to introduce the future, and so I'd like to welcome Dr. Scott Smith, Superintendent of St. Mary's County Public Schools, uh, to talk about our future, our youth in St. Mary's. Good morning. The mission statement of St. Mary's County Public Schools concludes with the commitment, accept no excuses, educating all with rigor, relevance, respect, and positive relationships. To do this, we know that each student must have a voice and agency and a brave, safe space where they know they are valued and where accountability is balanced with fairness. In December, the Board of Education adopted an encompassing equity policy, pledging the school system to invest in our students, our staff, our families, and our communities. Our investment is in equitable strategies that are intentional, systematic, sustained, collaborative, inclusive, 
and are ultimately focused on high quality teaching and learning. Our priority has been and is now given to identifying and dismantling barriers to equitable access, such as implicit bias and practices that result in disproportionate outcomes. With this foundation, I come together with two fantastic leaders to sign a resolution with hope in my heart and the conviction that St. Mary's County will, as it always does, lead by bringing people together. At this point, I think I'm going to read the resolution and then I will step forward and sign it. This joint resolution is made and entered into between the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office, St. Mary's County Public Schools, and the St. Mary's County Health Department on June 29, 2020. Whereas public health, public education, and public safety are interlocking and interdependent components of our community and their commitment to equity and racial justice impacts the lives of all citizens directly and indirectly. Whereas racial justice is the systematic fair treatment of people of all races resulting in equitable opportunities and outcomes for all. Whereas equity is the absence of disparities among groups of people that would have otherwise arisen because of their socioeconomic status, geographical area, age, disability, sexual orientation, gender or racial or ethnic group. Whereas health equity is the opportunity for all people to attain their highest level of health that can be achieved when differences in health, in health linked to social, economic, or environmental conditions are eliminated. Whereas educational equity is ensuring that all students, regardless of their individual characteristics, have equitable access to and benefit from high quality instruction as well as social emotional resources and support Whereas equity in public safety for all citizens is maintaining community safety from violence while working toward eliminating bias and the loss of public safety legitimacy. Now, therefore, be it, reserved, be it resolved that the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office, the St. Mary's County Public Schools, and the St. Mary's County Health Department will co-lead a multi-sector task force to examine the issues of opportunity, access, and equity in St. Mary's County, apply an equity lens to conduct a comprehensive review of their respective institutions, policies, and practices, and finally, investigate and implement organizational changes that can be made in each agency to best address inequitable outcomes in health, education, and public safety. Thank you, and with that, I will sign the resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.